if like me you were also expecting that the stress test got over yesterday then you were probably in for a rude shock markets started sliding right after the opening and they till mid day were falling there was a recovery after that but still half percent cuts in both nifty and sensex and bank index for the day the stress test results which are published today i think it's a joke i'll share you the reason for that in 2008 at the peak of the market i had invested in the biggest success story in the mutual fund industry in india probably sbi magnum my investment was soon followed by the lehman brothers crisis for about 4 to 5 years i did not even turn green in my portfolio this was the severity of fall in the nav of sbi magnum at that time so in the top 10 small cap mutual funds say that they can sell off 50% of the 2 lakh crore they hold in about 20 days 25 days 40 days it seems like a joke for me because when the small caps will come under pressure they will hit lower circuits nearly every day there will be sellers in huge quantity which is the dii's or mutual funds the retail obviously will not buy mutual funds themselves will not buy fi's typically don't even deal with small caps most of the time who will buy i have been sharing an example of tata investments for the last 5 days just for a contrast again today it hit 5% lower circuits all 5 days of this week if you look at this graph of tata investment you don't need to be even competent at reading graphs to understand till what level tata investments can fall based upon how much it has gone up there will be no buyers till some news comes till some strong hands come and start buying what is available for sale to conduct the stress test today di sold about 700 crores worth of stocks this is peanuts compared to 50% of 2 lakh crore which is 1 lakh crore think of markets tanking right now in the panic mode what will happen if that event happens a lot of folks who have talked to me on why i don't invest via mutual funds in the market they will now be able to understand my rationale mutual fund selling under conditions like now under panic under market crashes takes stocks down to lower circuits every day for many many days weeks at times 2008 crisis if i remember correctly the index hit lower circuit several times over 2 3 days we're talking about hdfc reliance kind of organizations hitting lower circuits if index is hitting lower circuit the scary part done what is likely in the market in the coming week probably so right now investor confidence in small cap mid cap will definitely get shaken new money will probably not get committed even people who are willing to invest for next 5 10 years 15 years brace all the falls will now be cautious at least till they can rethink and reassess their strategy i will not be surprised if mutual funds see a huge drop in the inflows next month once the salaries get credited on 31st or 1st of the month there will be renewed interest in liquid stocks mid cap and large cap where there is no such scare of no hands coming to buy for example if reliance is down there will be someone willing to buy there will be a tendency of people to find these strong stocks going forward their pe will go up so now the theme might get into buy at dips for these strong stocks and sell at every rise for the weaker stocks i don't personally expect a meltdown situation right now where this fall will continue uh, for the next few days in the entire week to come the comical part in us market was on the cpi date of 12 people thought it was a good cpi data after that suddenly it is being called sticky inflation suddenly markets have started to react to that as a result snp nasdaq were all down yesterday they are down today also crypto is seeing severe resistance around the 75000 kind of levels and it is coming under profit booking right now i think it will consolidate around this range unless there is something really wrong which happens where crypto will probably be taken as a hedge so gold and crypto might cool down a bit or stay range bound in about 5% up down range crude was up a bit but again looking at the uncertainty and the sticky inflation numbers it will now start cooling down i was surprised to notice that in india windfall tax on crude was actually increased today though crude has been below 80 dollars for last 20 plus days it seems that the tax collection from crude because of low rates is low and hence windfall tax has been hiked this will definitely impact most of the companies in the oil pack it happened today it will happen tomorrow also investor psyche will go through a stress test of its own right now think of it gold near all time high crypto too many taxes 
plus all time high real estate boiling right now in most places equity really equity indexes are still close to all time highs mid cap small cap seem like a meltdown or a crash for now sebi rbi not in great moods data published by sbi supreme court is not happy in terms of crude i think the domestic prices will be cut down sharply about one month before the election technically oil marketing companies control the prices not the government so ec can't control that part overall tricky part for traders right now especially because stop losses of 2 3% don't mean anything beat stocks beat fno beat commodities everything good worth trading is kind of volatile by 3 4 5% up down on a daily basis you might make great money on a specific day thinking that you have understood the market but believe me over the next few days the markets will take lot more than what you earned on that good day as a trader i'll personally sit out the next week i'll be in delhi and i'll not be able to access my equipment so it will be difficult for me to provide you detailed updates next week but i'll try my best towards evening to still publish something in terms of market roundup i'll be back online mostly on friday